Hey there guys, Class Skirmer here, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. That's a fun way to start, with a cannon-toting ship right in your face. Sure, why not, game? Why wouldn't it be just like that? Let's see. Get the bombs. No, oh, return fire. Where do you think you're going? Anyhow, uh, last time on Let's Play This Game, we finished the Wind Temple, got the hookshot most importantly, and then um, don't have anything to do with it. Hmm. Don't they normally drop something? Maybe I'm just crazy. Yeah, maybe I'm just crazy. Uh, this time we are going to go use that hookshot to uh, accomplish things. But not out that direction, that's too far. Let's see. Let us pull up the map. I'm actually going to be heading out here to uh, the Overlook Isle Island because, as I recall, there was a thing we could do with the hookshot. So I'm just going to cut here and see you guys there. Alright, we're coming up on Overlook Isle. And, uh, yeah, you can see it's basically a bunch of separated staircase style islands, only you would definitely need the hookshot to get from any of them to any other. Also, apparently you have to get even closer than that. Let's just cruise pretty much right up to the edge of it. And hope I don't get shot by one of these uh, patrol ships before I can get up here. There. That's better. Probably. We're going to ignore their cannon fire. Oh, well, hello, Blue Chew. Um, where is my... Yeah, this. Steal some of that jelly. And use the, uh, cannon's own attacks to help me. Oh, hi there, bomb. Yeah, we're gonna go now. But... <laughs> this is really stupid. Oh, look. A grotto. We, uh, we're probably going to be doing a lot of stuff like this where I'm just going to be exploring and cutting things out as necessary because, um, not everything is going to be important. So, don't be surprised if it seems like there are huge gaps of time, because there probably will be. Can I make that? Nope. Alright, well, apparently I just need to learn how to aim. That targeting would help. Sure would, if I targeted the one that still had its mouth open. There, like that. Okay, that is a little close. There. Problem solved. I'm sure I should probably make a trip to Tingle. I can probably use all my money there for something. Got this fortune for some reason, right? Like, it can't all just be to, uh, I don't know, buy potions? I really don't know what I would do with this money in this game. Arrows aren't, like, super rare and uh, important to me like they are in, I don't know, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Should probably stop bringing that game up all the time. Oh, hey. Um... Just in case. Because if you do manage to smash a skull. There. One shots him. It's just not always the easiest thing to do because the skulls, you know, bounce around. Oh, 
Ha! Nope. Stop moving. I said stop. You bastard. Alright. Alright. We'll do it this way. Ah! I was trying to do a spin slash. Okay. Oh man. I love that attack. Only when I'm doing it. There. Now he's dead. I think this is going to be just a fun little arena grotto. Although it's not the super crazy hard one, because um, I'm pretty sure that if it wasn't this, then maybe Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? I f or did they even have it in the original Paper Mario? There's a... Um, at least there should be like a 100 floor dungeon. Oh great. They are causing problems. That's not the one I want you to target. Great. Great, great, great. Wizard robes are definitely a problem at all times. Hmm. For once, the jump slash actually helped. Pretty sure I just, like, cleared the fire by doing that. Come on. They are spawning so many enemies. To the point where they're making it really difficult to even get my target on them. There. Big damage to one. Big damage to another. Oh good, one's dead. Okay, that's mostly everything. Stop everything you're doing. Just stop it. Lost so much health in this room for no real good reason. Other than lack of crowd control abilities. Um... Yeah. Great. Yep. Nope. Keep targeting that one, Link. That's wonderful. Alright. Hey, a Joy Pendant. Those may or may not be the things I need to get, what, the magic armor? So I think that's the last item in the menu I don't have. I think I may have been a little late on the uh, special reaction attack. Which is fine. Okay. And more dark nuts. <laughs> nice. Always appreciate the uh, friendly fire on the enemy side. In any game, really. Like, Doom in particular is a early game I can think of that had that just happen constantly, and I love that about it. Oh, great. Nope, nope, get away from the wall. Oh, good, that guy... Nope. Yes, that one. I ah, didn't keep him frozen for very long, though. Not long enough to, uh... Okay. Thought I was gonna get a chance to do do the roll around attack, but nope. The game does not feel that is uh appropriate there apparently. That's fine. 
I'll just get in here without any targeting. Hey, money. That's that is a lot of money. That is maxed out my rupee counter money. You know what? That was worth it just to get them to hit, uh, hit each other. Can the one without armor stop trying to get up in my business? Crap. Uh oh. There. I don't know how I rolled away from that attack, but I'll take it. Let's focus on this one. If I get them both on armor, they'll be a lot easier to deal with them. Now I can basically just get in here and take care of business. Yeah, I'll take that blow trading. That seems pretty okay to me. That may have been, uh... Hmm... Let's say pretty avoidable. Then again, um... I don't know, in hero mode everything just does a ton of damage. By design. And this is just going to be a ton of money. So is this? Yeah, okay. Um, it's like, it's going to be whatever this game's version of uh, Zelda's Lullaby is, right? Yep. But hey, for coming in here, going through this whole gauntlet of enemies, for maybe no apparent reason, we get... Ooh, the Triforce Shard just right here. Okay, great. That means I'm, like, what? Three away? Two away? Looks like two away. I count six. Cool. I honestly didn't expect that. Then again, I do recall hearing that um they cut down a lot of the Triforce Shard hunting by way of just... Instead of making half of the things you do to get them, uh, charts, you just get the shard right away. So, that was cool. Where's my boat? Boat's gonna be all the way over there. And I'm sort of interested in if there's anything further up the island. Because there was another tree, right? Yeah, there's another tree. I may not get there before getting blown up. Oh, okay, bunch of pots with small amounts of money and even a little bit of magic. So, you know, basically nothing. Hey, there's my boat. I apparently went under it. All right, well. Oh, yeah, we also have all of these treasure charts. Let's go ahead and open some of them. Okay, I know that's at least near a fairy island. That's going to be at the, uh, the five, yeah, five eye reef, which is, hmm, at one of these. Ones that won't look particularly important, at least not big enough to show up on the, you know, normal map. That's fine, I'll find that later. That should be at the end of the bomb island, which should be along... Yeah, it's right here. Hmm, I honestly have no idea. Is that Stone Watcher? Hmm. 
Nope. Well, good thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's going to be right next to the Isle of Steel. Cool. Good news is since the main map here shows a red circle, you can at least tell which ones you need to look at because they don't have the red circles. So you know you have not pulled up the treasure from there. Dredged it up, as it were. Hmm. Tinkle's chart. Oh, right. It's useless. Oh, okay. So I haven't gone into the ghost ship yet. I don't remember how to get into the ghost ship yet. And then there's the Triforce shard on uh, Outset Island. I don't know why it has one of Tingle's brothers on there. Maybe he gave it to me? Octochar, I'm pretty sure I've killed all of those. Don't need to know where great fairies are. Hmm. I wish it just, like, checkmarked these things off as he did them. All these different charts are actually really kind of interesting. We aren't going to do every single platform. There's so many of them, and most of the rewards are not important at all. Cool. Well, I was hoping to be able to say that I am just going to go to Tingle and spend money, because I would rather spend money now and then, uh, you know, be able to get some when I pull up stuff from the treasure charts, but I, I don't think I can actually spend money at Tingles. You know what I should do is go somewhere where I can heal. Hmm. So I'll do that. I'll probably just go to whichever of the uh, Great Fairy Islands it was I have a treasure chart for, and then I, I don't know, I guess I'll try and figure out how to go to, uh, the ghost ship and go to Outset Island to get the uh, last thing. What? Well, let's still go here. Anyway, I'm probably going to be cutting some of this out. So I will see you guys if this treasure is important. If not, uh, after I figure out how to get to one of the other Triforce shards. So the Thorn Fairy Island is. Oddly guarded. Got here, there's all these giant pea hats, and then uh, one of those gunships. But, forgetting the treasure chart for this place and coming here, holding up that treasure, I got a piece of heart. So, that's worth it. Also, I failed spectacularly at finding a way to use up my money. Went to Windfall Island, bought red chew jelly, and drank it. It was all of 20 rupees. And then went to see uh, Miss Joy? I think she's actually just called Miss Joy, the teacher. And gave her the rest of the Joy Penance I found, bringing up to a total of 72. And all that she did was give me 20 rupees for it, because I'm pretty sure I'm done with uh, her stuff. Except for that there's the whole item trading side quest with a uh, Zunari the merchant. Where am I? I'm at Bomb? Yep. Cool. Bomb Island actually has a couple of things I want to do first since we're, you know, in the boat. Let's find this treasure that I might have stopped right next to. Hopefully this isn't money because I'm 10 rupees away from my carrying capacity anyway. No, it's another piece of heart getting me up to 16. Oh, heart containers, that is. But, uh... Doing the item trading side quest from Zanari is how you get the magic armor. I thought it was related to uh, the teacher, but it's not. It's very vaguely related to her. Because she wants the island to be made pretty. And you do that by... 
uh, trading with these Goron merchants all around the world, and... Well, but no, don't throw it away. Give it to him. And then you, uh... Eventually get it? I'm fuzzy on the details. But, he's a traveling merchant. So we need to open up a merchant contract between him and Zunari, even though, uh... I don't know why they seem to kind of hide the identity. It's clearly a Goron if you know anything about them. Like, he's even got the Goron Ruby symbol on his bag. But, yeah, we're just going to talk to him and see if we can't set this whole thing up. This is maybe something I should have been doing, like, the entire length of the game, but... Eh, we'll just start doing it now, after I've already done all the dungeons. Why not? I'm like two Triforce shards away from uh, being ready to go complete the game. Oh, cool. There, I found a way to get rid of money. Sort of. Yep. Merchant's Oath. Cool. Well, that's fine. The spinning camera only made me vaguely dizzy. Other than that, I'm not sure there's really all that much to be done here at Bomb Island. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else to actually do here. So, well, I mean, there's that summary, but I did that ages ago. You get a bottle for it. I've got all the bottles, so I don't need to do that. Instead, we're going to go back to Windfall. I'll give Zanari this flower. Maybe I don't even need to, but we'll see if anything opens up there. If it does, I'll show it. If it doesn't, then I guess I'm going to Outset. Actually, no. Diamond Step. 